have an amazing show. This is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Stick around. We're going to be talking about the rolling outages in Texas and the emergency sweeping the nation. What is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. This is a live call-in show, so keep in mind the number will be scrolling right here, 224400 Marf, if you would like to call in. Uh, again, actually, this is news only, so forget what I just said. In fact, I'm an idiot. In fact, this is exactly how you should start every show, Adam. Can we start over? Just kidding. We'll get right back to the point. Uh, no calls tonight because it's News Only Tuesday. And Adam, your trusty uh, host here, is an idiot. All right, let's get right into it. Texas starts rolling power outages to cope with deep freeze. The state of Texas continued to reel under a deep freeze, leaving utilities scrambling to meet record power demand and forcing the state's grid operator to enforce rotating blackouts early on Monday. So before we start, of course, Texas is going through this craziness. If you follow me on Twitter, at Marfugel, you would have seen that I actually made a call out to my uh, audience and to my Fugel fam uh, that was a real, real call. Um, what it was is that uh, I basically got the call that my brother-in-law, who is on a business trip in Arlington, Texas, was all of a sudden uh, trapped. And what happened is he was staying at a hotel for his business trip and they lost power and hot water. Uh, so they legally could not have anybody there. They basically told the guests that they would try to find them a new place. They tried to find them a new place and they couldn't. Uh, not even 2 on one or f finding a shelter. All the shelters are full. Uh, I guess uh, actually almost, uh, I want to say 16 people or more have actually passed away because of the cold uh, in, in that area. So it, it's really, really bad. Um, it was going to be below freezing tonight, and of course, he was in their office. Uh, we were calling all sorts of family. Uh, nobody is in the area. There was nothing to do, no Uber to get him to another town, no uh, cabs, no nothing. I ended up putting out a, a kind of a desperate plea to Fam on Twitter. Somebody answered. In fact, multiple people answered. I ended up going with... Uh, one of one of the people that responded, uh, he's an amazing guy. I'm actually gonna talk. Uh, uh, I'm gonna talk to him first before I shout him out. I just want to make sure he is doing a huge favor. Not only did he drive an hour to go pick up my brother-in-law, my sister's uh, husband, there, he actually then took him and he's going to be taking him in for possibly the night or or uh, two nights or whatever it may be. I, his flight was pushed back. He was stuck. What was his other option? Uh, literally sleep on the street. This hotel was just leaving them high and dry, basically. Um, so Fugel fam actually personally helped me, and that was kind of like how this is affecting me. Uh, in in Seattle, Washington, this is affecting me. Uh, my brother-in-law was stuck. There, there is no, there's no options for these people. I can't imagine what happened to the rest of the people staying at that hotel. Uh, again, that pretty nuts. So. Thank you to uh, thank you to you, and I will shout you out, and and uh, of course shout your Twitter out, and whatever you want me to shout out. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Um, before we get further into this, I just want to remind you all of the articles that we're going to show you here today, we back up. In fact, we make sure to say uh, pretty much everything we say here is going to have a bibliography or a source of kinds uh, on our website. So if you go to marfuglenews.com, you'll see it's very easy to navigate. You look for tonight's thumbnail, which is a second wave. This is not normal. And then, of course, it is titled, This is Normal. Uh, when you click on this, you'll see all of the articles, every single tweet, every single video that we show you here today. You can actually go on a second device and either follow along or go back or check uh, check our sources. Whatever you want to do, it's all there for you. This takes time before every single show. We make sure to do that so people can't say, oh, you're just making that up. Uh, again, I think that there is a, a, a big, big... Um, a big ordeal right now with just a lot of people saying stuff out of their butts and, and not backing it up. And then, of course, if you're missing our notifications, go to the website as well. You can actually sign up for our push notifications. And then, of course, 
Before we uh, do anything here today, nothing in this show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. The views of the callers can differ considerably and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of myself, Dex, or anyone else on the show. You should always do your own research and consult with professionals, and the internet is full of fake news, so please take everything with a grain of salt. As we have a co-host today who is available to actually talk, Dex, let's bring you in, and and thank you so much for being with me today. My internet brother and co-host, Dex. Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugle fam. And uh, prayers going out to everybody suffering in that cold. I'm so glad your uh, brother-in-law was able to find a solution. I honestly, I I was pretty surprised myself. There was a few people. Uh, Christine, thank you for reaching out as well. Thank you uh, for everyone that was uh, basically trying to call family. Uh, there were several people that were trying to call family there to see if they could, you know, extend a stay to somebody else. He, the 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 thing that was going for him is one, he has good credit. He's a professional, you know, he's a professional. He's a businessman. He's got money to actually get a room. He couldn't. That's the thing. If you're in Texas right now, uh, there's some pretty serious stuff going on. I mean, he could rent a hotel. He could get a room. He has the money to do it but was not able to, there was nothing. Uh, Again, they they closed down half of them because there were power, no power, no water, and they legally can't have people. But what I don't get is why didn't that hotel actually put them up in a uh, storeroom? Like, wouldn't they be responsible if they're checked in there? Wouldn't they be responsible if they go, hey, you know, you're checked in here, sorry, but now you got to leave. There's no transportation to leave. They're stuck there, sitting in their office, basically expecting to mom pick them, you know, have mom pick them up. These aren't children. These are grown adults and there's no options. There's no transportation. There's no Uber. There's no cabs. So how, what are they supposed to do? Just die out in the street. And that's exactly what happened. So thank you to the Fugal fam member. Uh, Again, uh, I'm sure they have no problem being shouted out. I will be doing a love mob uh, to whatever social media uh, he has very shortly. Uh, Again, want to talk to him. He has gone through a lot, did two hours of driving to pick up my brother-in-law. That's huge. That's that means a whole lot to me, and uh, I know you guys don't want to hear it, but that, that is seriously, that's amazing. You know, that's where my real life kind of goes right into the show, so thank you. So the state of Texas is obviously uh, sitting here freezing. There's all sorts, of, and Texas is huge. Texas is the size of four different states, and it is going through absolute hell with this weather. Um, people are dying. Uh, especially, and I just want to give this out there, people are dying from running their cars in their garages for heat, not knowing that you do not do that. You do not have an engine running in a closed compartment ever. You don't do that because you will kill yourself. That is a way that people actually commit uh, the, the, the bad deed. Okay, so I, I don't understand that. Those were all preventable if those people were smart enough. I don't think those same people probably should, you know, there's a lot of people I'm like, and you know, they're able to vote, man, millions endure record cold without power, at least 16 dead, a winter storm that left millions without power in record breaking cold weather claimed more lives Tuesday, including three people found, uh, perished after a tornado hit a seaside town in North Carolina and four family members who perished in a Houston area house fire well using a fireplace to stay warm. It says the storm that overwhelmed power grids and immobilized the southern plains carried heavy snow and freezing Wayne. Wayne, uh, I just see Wayne Brady just flying. I don't know why I have Wayne Brady in my head. Get out. I will. Freezing rain into New England and the Deep South and left behind painfully low temperatures. Wind chill warnings extended from Canada into Mexico. Think about the scale of that. From Canada to Mexico. The entire country. Something is going on with this planet and uh, it might not be uh, it might not be the, the warming. It might just be uh, it might just be uh, what's above us. In all, at least 16 deaths were reported. Other causes included car crashes and carbon monoxide poisoning. That's, again, what I was talking about. Man, I mean, how do people not know that? At least people that are old enough to drive, how do you not know about that? I just, I'm praying for your souls. I really am sorry. I just can't believe it. I mean, that's the this, the most preventable way. You know, like the only way that that's like, 
Uh, I heard about the, there was a YouTuber, I think it was, or he was on a show. I, I, if you guys can name the show the guy was on, he perished because they were in a, a four by four truck and they were stuck in mud. And because they left their truck running in the mud, apparently the mud kept the uh, carbon monoxide in the vehicle because it had no way to go out. It was going into the vehicle and then, you know, he perished that way. Do you guys know what show that person was on? It was a kind of a big deal a few years ago. Um, again, you know, that's just the the craziest way to go. Uh, by the way, Lisa K, 23, thank you. Mama of six, thank you. Uh, Jimmy Shively, thank you. Cutthroat Mom, thank you all for being here. And then uh, Susan Donahue, four minutes ago, thank you, says, Fugle Fam in, is, in, is the new Red Cross. Hashtag Team Humanity. Yes, and the people that immediately, even though they were two hours away, were saying, I'll, I'll do it. There was somebody who was going to drive four hours to do it. I said, no, we'll have to find a different way. Not going to do that. Uh, thank you, guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Stonemaster Kevin, thank you as well from Canada. Just nuts. Um, let's see here. And I want to pop open that main chat, see if anybody remembered. It was like a, a discovery show. Either way, not important. Uh, the the man's life was important, of course, but man, oh man. It says, President JB's admin said delays in the V's shipments and deliveries were likely. <laughs> uh, yeah, like uh, like anybody is uh, really in a rush. I don't know. Maybe you might be. Uh, North Carolina, Brunswick County had little notice of the dangerous weather and a tornado warning was not issued until the storm was already on the ground. The National Weather Service was, quote, very surprised how rapidly this storm intensified. And at the time of night, when most people are at home and in bed, it says it creates a very dangerous situation. That's the thing. When it hit us in the Northwest, it was so strong. I could not believe how strong these winds were. Uh, we've ne I've not, I haven't had winds like that since, I think, 2008. And that was in that storm that knocked out a million people's power. Uh, my trees outside my apartment, after the storm, all four of them were along a sidewalk. They were all like this. I haven't seen wind like what happened the other night since then. And that's all hitting the Midwest and even possibly the East Coast afterwards. It is incredible what is going on right now. And oh, by the way, there is a second wave. It says Mexico blames U.S. as energy crisis spills across the border. It says, if the president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, was looking for ammunition in his quest to cut Mexico's reliance on foreign energy, it would be hard to top the electricity blackouts affecting the north of the country. It said that Mexico reported, get this, by the way, this is huge. It is giant when Seattle, Washington, or Washington has one million without power. Mexico reported 4.77 million homes and businesses losing power Monday after imports of natural gas from the U.S. were curbed, knocking power stations offline. Dex, I'm going to pull you in here. Does Is anybody else, do you think, do, do people think that this is all normal, that all of these weird supply chain things are happening and all these power uh, events are happening and it's not, you know, they're just complete coincidences well it certainly shows how uh fragile the entire uh energy ecosystem is you know when the electricity goes out pumps go down pumps don't push natural gas to power plants that burn that natural gas right or uh and to make more energy so yeah there's a lot of a lot of a lot of interdependencies here or or better yet windmills freeze over and you can't get any of that power or the sky is cloudy from the snow and the snow has covered the uh, solar panels. So you, you, we're talking about multiple ways that the power grid can uh, fail. And Mexico has borrowed their designs off of us. I mean, we have helped them over the last 20 years try to get their, their power grid up to the point, And they're using the same technology. They're using uh, the same kind of stuff. And in even some points... Uh, there are some hardline connections there. So it is pretty nuts that 4.77 million uh, people were out of out of uh, electricity. And think about 
how that would affect a country like Mexico. It says the disruption is a spillover of the worst electricity crisis in recent history in the U.S., where freakishly cold weather has cut oil and gas output. Mexico has restored uh, power to 65% of users. Okay, so even after they've restored power, we're talking about uh, one of the you know worst power outages here. This is still two million people out of uh, out of power, and that's re- that's a- a- after they actually turned back on sixty five percent. It says they've restored power to 65% of users, state utility CFE said in its latest update, but the company didn't miss the opportunity to make a political point. It says the disruption, quote, is why Mexico should or must seek autonomy, Miguel Reyes, an official at CFE said in a statement. It says Almo, as the president, is widely known as the, as to strengthen CFE's grip on Mexico's power system and is seeking to pass a bill... <clears throat> In Congress, that would give the utility priority over private companies in providing electricity. In the morning press conference on Monday, he said that the bill did not contravene Mexico's USMCA trade deal with the U.S. and Canada. A response to recent criticism from the business community on both sides of the border. Mexico's antitrust watchdog has said that the bill will hurt competition. So... Obviously here, they are actually dependent on us. What if we go down, then Mexico goes down? It, Dex, have you thought about that? I, 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 we haven't really covered what would happen if our grid went down. How would the, just our grid affect everybody else? And if we were hit with an EMP, would that affect Canada? And now we know if our grid goes down, then Mexico is, is going to go down. And that would also mean that the... I wonder, man, it's kind of crazy we uh, we built that wall there. I wonder if they're preparing for that because the second it goes down, everybody would come right over. Would it, would it not be? Think yeah, about that. Kind of a, that's a crazy thought, and we're certainly learning more. At least we are. The, the common you know, public is learning more about what type of interconnectivity there is between, you know, and interdependencies, I should say, between us and, and other countries like Mexico. I don't know about Canada. I don't know that we've seen much of that, but maybe and more than likely as close of allies as we are and neighbors, we probably share some stuff there too. Well, I, and just think about that. If we didn't even have a massive grid failure and just bad weather turned off the lights for 4.77 million people in Mexico, which is a giant, giant amount of people. If our grid goes down, it's a free for all for everybody. Think about that. Do you think that there was a long-term plan maybe to do something to us and maybe, maybe, just maybe they had intelligence to say, hey, maybe we should build something between the countries because of the threat of some event possibly happening. If it did happen, then it would just be like, boom, everybody, everybody that ever wanted to be is going to be, if you guys know what I mean. Other than that, uh, think about the cartels uh, right on on the border in Juarez and in places like this. I mean, think about what they could bring over when that happened. Think about they could get years worth of stuff over in one day. And do you think Border Patrol would? And I bet you there's going to be some good guys. Uh, and I bet you there's going to be probably a lot of good people trying to stop uh, bad guys from coming over. But think about it. If we have a massive grid failure, do you think? Uh, those border patrol are going to still be sitting at their stations or do you think they're going to go uh, grab their families and, and try to protect uh, their own? Because if we do have a massive nationwide grid down situation, uh, it's going to be bad. I can't, I mean, it's like, it's like every bad movie you ever thought of. <clears throat> this is a weather map. Dex, do you want to explain the purple and the blue and the red here on uh, on this hailpoint.com map? Yeah, certainly. So that dark, dark uh, middle section, you can see those low temperatures that are going down to like, you know, negative seven, you know, negative 10. You know, that's that cold weather that's just driving straight down to the center of uh, the Midwest all the way down into Texas. And, and, you know, I I sympathize with a lot of people because you look at the cold, the cold is all over America. Um, and matter of fact, Oklahoma is hit just as hard and, and, you know, other states even towards the east are going to be having those cold temperatures. But the, the thing that we're talking about the most about Texas is you're dealing with a state that was not built for that. 
And when I talk about like, you know, the homes aren't built for that, where all these pipes are rupturing in houses, um, insulation's not built to withstand that type of cold. So, you know, they build, you know, you build houses based on the, the environment, right? Um, so they don't build homes in the South that are meant to deal with, you know, negative seven degrees. It's just not, doesn't happen. Um, so, and when you and that's look, why they're getting hit the hardest. Dex, when you look at this, there is, there's states in here that just don't go down to this temperature. I mean, this is, this is weird. Um, look at this. I mean, you've got in the twenties and thirties, almost everywhere. And then, of course, you've got the crazy, 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 crazy stuff where you've got down to zero, negative 10, negative 12, uh, this whole line of it. What is this? Have I, I don't even remember seeing this ever for any kind of storm, uh, a storm that went across the entire United States. Did the jet stream like move overnight or something like this is this is just absolutely freakish. And it's been lasting for a while. Not that this is this particular thing is stuck here, but we've had these polar colds that have dropped down and repeatedly, right? And and sort of funnel through so that, you know, like you said, it was uh, just under a week ago, we were talking about Texas having ice and, and that big pileup on the interstate. Well, they're still cold now. They're still frozen. And that's just, that's extreme. I, it really makes you just think, like, what the heck is going on here? Did I, did our planet slow down and we're getting somebody else's weather? Like, what the heck is going on? Um, Adrian Maldonado, thank you so much for your massive support tonight. Really appreciate you. Thank you again, Susan Donahue. Uh, Granny C, thank you for being the last one out on the last show. We really do appreciate your support. Super, super, super appreciate it. Okay. Uh, let's see well, here. We certainly could use some of that warming that they've been talking about for all these years right now. Oh, I know. Yeah, <laughs> you get what, you get what Dex is saying there. Uh, let's see. And do not need to remind some of you, most of you already know, and some of you have already done. So I would hope that you guys are looking into EMP shield and EMP protection. You need to be, uh, honestly, if you look at what we're, and we're going to be showing you some more in the coming months to come. Uh, we are trying to get some guests that will be able to give you the proper background on this because, you know, hearing it from us is one thing, but hearing it from the experts is another. If you have not heard of EMP Shield, they make a device for all sorts of different things, including your car, your generator, your house. And what this device does is it grounds the signal of an EMP or a solar flare uh, before it's able to fry your device. This isn't just a surge protector. This is an advanced system to actually protect you against an EMP. All three phases, E1, E2, and E3. It's Keystone military tested. And not only that, the DOD, DHS, Department of Homeland Security, has mentioned these by name. And uh, they are contracting, uh, of course, them. And then Demso, the Texas uh, grid team, is actually contracting EMP Shield as well. So this is the legit way to go if you want to protect yourself against this stuff. Go to marfuglenews.com com slash emp and while you still can the contest is almost over i would highly recommend joining uh and going over to the contest at marfuglenews.com slash contest where if you win you will get to choose your device again there's multiple ways to enter including daily bonus entries get in there while you can all right uh let's see there was there was a video that i was going to show you so i'll see if i can pull that up here in a second but first, and Adam, by the way, on the winner side, I did add a few tweets to the website if you want to show those. Um, and there's a couple of them that include videos as well. They're just on the web page. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I okay. it up normally. So if you no, 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 thank you. Sorry, I, my own echo confused me. Wow, this is incredible. Look at this. So check this out. This is a tweet by Mooney. It says, wait, there's a broken water pipe above that fan, right? Yep. There's your problem right there. There's a pool of water from a burst pipe. Bad juju. Okay, so this, people that are just laughing this off, not only is the pipe burst because it is so cold, uh, but the water is coming down and freezing inside of the house that does not have uh, any heat. Look at the sides of the walls. There's water running all the way down. So they are uh, they are basically in their own icebox. They're in an igloo right now. The water is freezing around them and about to make 
uh, an insane, insane ice house. Does this remind you of that movie? Um, what's the the movie that was written by? Uh, oh, the, I'm sorry, I'm totally freaking out. The movie that was all about it, everything froze over really quick. You remember what I'm talking about? And they oh, have to oh, get the, out of the New day York. after tomorrow. Yeah, day after tomorrow. Sorry, there's and actually it was written a few. by like Art Bell. It's actually from his book. But anyway, um, yeah. Like, doesn't this just totally look like that? Like, the whole insides are freezing, water's freezing in the homes. Oh, no, this is insanity. I mean, this is real deal, Holyfield. Uh, weather changing in front of our eyes. Uh, Starship Trooper, appreciate you. Thank you. And Goonie P, thank you so much. Uh, Gen B Cox, and then two for two, woohoo, made the live show again. Hey, Gen B Cox, I really do appreciate you coming. And seriously, I've seen a lot of people that have been making it almost every night. So thank you. Miss Jackson, 908, we are uh, trying to do earlier shows, so I appreciate you. I love you, Marf Dex. Prayers for those being attacked, says Defrustrated. And then Judy Dowell, Maui Racing Realtor. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Mystic Misfit. And Awake 2 says, I am so glad your brother-in-law found help. God bless you and all your family. Awake 2, thank you so much for the Ninja Gini. I appreciate that. Uh, that, again, is a huge compliment over on DLive, so I do do think that. Uh, is Gone Girl 777 okay? She's in Texas, yes. I believe Gone Girl is okay. She said that she was dealing with stuff last uh, last time we were on. Uh, again, I think that uh, she is kind of set in that way, so I'm praying for her as well. Gone Girl, if you're out there, if you could let us know, that would be amazing. I know that you are, you are, uh, you have your own situation going there. Unicorn Forest and Geisy, Susan Flight. I love that we're checking on everybody. If you don't see somebody in chat, check on them because at this point we need to. Uh, Jimmy Shively, Annie, get your gun. Thank you guys for all being here. I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're safe. Some of you are actually watching from this with your power off. Uh, some people are using their generators that they were smart enough to get. And some people are doing all, all sorts of things. I've gotten emails of people saying that they're basically staying in their car. They stocked up on gas because of us, so they were glad, but they're still staying in their car, basically charging their phone. Absolutely nuts. Uh, before I move on here, let's see here. There's actually a couple more here. It says, only in my bedroom that a pipe would freeze and bust. I'm crying, Texas. Check this out. So, do people get how serious this is? This is somebody's livelihood getting busted right in front of them. Uh, this is people dying. Shocking, turn up the volume, pipes busted from freezing, Denton, Texas. Please. And, and I bet that's an outside wall. Like, I've had a pipe burst like that when it was really cold, just like, you know, 15 degrees, you know, on a on an outside wall like that. And it's a mess. It's, a, it's horrible. So, by the way, this message comes with a piece of advice for you in Texas. It says, uh, shocking, turn up the volume, pipes busted from freezing, Denton, Texas. Please, if you are in Texas and you have not done so, let a couple of faucets drip until the freeze is over. This looks like a very beautiful house. I mean, if I see a spiral staircase, I think fancy. Don't know why I put the echo on that, but let's let's watch. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I am just speechless. I have I didn't see these beforehand. This is insane. This is exactly why we have warned you. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if they predict it or not. Something will happen that you don't expect. Something's going to happen that you are not expecting. You need to have your stuff ready and prepped. 
It doesn't have to be the end of the world. It doesn't have to be something that Bruce Willis needs to save the world from. It can be something like this. This is extremely serious. It's affected almost everybody I know. As far as everyone knows somebody that's been affected by this storm. So please, please go and help somebody if you can. Do whatever you can to do a good deed for somebody. Uh, Put somebody up. Whatever you have to do. We all need to get through this. Oh, man. Lisa K, thank you. Annie, get your gun. Thank you for the diamond. Just a gal. Thank you for following. It says, another storm heading to snow slammed south. Latest forecast. Nearly 40 states are on alert for snow, ice, and bitter cold as about 70.4% of the U.S. is covered by snow. It says the uh, the South is still digging out from snow and ice that hit earlier this week, closing V Nation sites and bringing roads to a standstill. One thing I don't get is almost every weather thing has talked about the V Nation things closing. Um, I guess there's a whole different group of people that are like, you know, on their tippy toes trying to get one. Yeah, I mean, how about it's closed stores, it's closed, it's brought, I know. you know, EMS to its knees or, or first responders. I mean, come on, there's like a thousand other things that are just as important. I Maybe other people are in like a super hurry and just like biting at the chop to get one. But I would think you would I talk about the small businesses. The what was that? <laughs> I saw somebody in your neck of the woods. There was an art, a headline that they walked uh, eight miles in snow to get it. That was the headline. Barefoot both ways. Well, barefoot one way. <laughs> Uphill both ways. No, one way. They never made it back. <laughs> that was me dead. All right. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, I just cracked myself up. Yeah, they only went one way. All right, back to back to. Overnight, a storm brought several reported tornadoes. This is insane. Tornadoes on top of this. Can you imagine? Overnight, a storm brought several reported tornadoes to Florida, Georgia, North Carolina. At least three people were killed from those. Uh, It says, in the same storm moving uh, through, excuse me, the northwest Tuesday with ice and snow for inland areas and just mild rain for the Interstate 95 corridor. Additional snow and ice will hit northern New England where 6 to 10 inches of snow is possible through Tuesday afternoon. Did you it, hear about the snow NATO? No, is that a, a is there that Shark NATO four? Yeah, it must have been. But it was literally. Um, I'll find it and I'll put it on the website. We can't show it because it's going to be one of those weather guys. But uh, but yeah, there was a tornado in the snow, very briefly, and they have. I guess they called it a snow NATO. Truth is out there. Just made a huge point. This gives FEMA a reason to be there. Just saying. I really, you know, some of the things we think, it's like, I just really hope, you know, it, it's like these little setups and then one one of these days we're going to be right and it's going to be scary. Uh, Bummer has the weather control. They are asking, attacking repubs. Sorry, my eyes are going, guys. I think I look at a computer screen too much. Love for all humans thank you for following and i love your screen name there scooby doo do right bear claws and then of course lucy fur thank you so much for your support tonight says family hasn't had power in two days every gas station in north fort worth is out of gas water treatment plant is down and we have no clean water (laughs) yay (laughs) they put that i didn't put that by the way lucy i love that you have a sense of humor there even if it is sarcastic and and uh, really sad, uh, but you know, we're all praying for you, Lucy, and all the rest. Love your name, by the way. It's my daughter's name. Gold Fingerl says, if you set up a tent inside your house, you will stay warm inside from your body heat. Kids love it. Stay warm. 
You're totally right as well. Golfing girl. I just saw, I just called you gold finger. Golfing girl. Sorry. Ford Zombie 8, thank you. And G Honey P, thank you again. I appreciate that. North Texas man living in his car due to hours without power to his home. This is exactly what I was talking about. Some North Texans have gone so long without power. In fact, we had a caller last night that uh, was resorting to this. It says, some North Texans have gone so long without power from rolling blackouts that they have resorted to living in their cars. <clears throat> it has been frustrating struggle to stay warm. It says, there have been warnings of short temporary power blackouts in neighborhoods to manage the overwhelming demand, but some say they have been caught off guard by how long they are being denied electricity. It says, I'm wearing several layers of clothes to keep my body warm. The 44-year-old lives in the town of Nevada. Okay, okay. I was going to say he was in Nevada, and Nevada is cold. Everywhere is cold right now. I thought it was in the town of Nevada in uh, Texas. Can you imagine this? And the, there, it says, so pretty much since 5.30, 5.30 to 6 yesterday evening, electricity has been off. Whoa, are you kidding me? So they've done a rolling blackout for an entire days. This time, it's been it was out for an entire day. As of the writing of this, they were saying it was out for a day. Yesterday evening, electricity has been off. It says Clint Cash has been living in his car during the power outage. And that is in Nevada, Texas. That's a city. Yeah, no, no, Texas. no. I said that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Probably doing his tech stuff. Cash is one of the North Texans who have no power in their homes because of rolling blackouts. He said that his house went dark Sunday afternoon. Two days without power now. So they're doing rolling blackouts. And this to me is just insanity. Is we don't have it set up for this cold weather in these places. So they physically have to take power where they can have power. And people possibly could die because of something that they are doing uh, that might not have to be done if they had some, you know, some sort of preparation for this. This is how bad our grid is, though. This is just a storm. Think about a grid down situation. I just, I, I can't stress it enough. This is just a storm sweeping through. It's like, why, why are we in 2021? We have all of this technology, but our power system is so freaking off. I just don't get it. It's incredible. Divine1122. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the massive support over on DLive. Thank you. And then the latest, four die in a house fire during Texas power outage. It says a fire official says that three young children and their grandmother died in a Houston area house fire early Tuesday morning while it was believed that they were trying to stay warm during a power outage. It says Sugarland Fire and EMS spokesman Doug Adolph uh, said that the when firefighters arrived after the call after 2 a.m., the house was fully engulfed and the 41-year-old mother of the children and her female friend were outside of the home and suffering from burns. He said that a responder had to restrain the mother from going back in the house. Both women have been taken to the hospital. I cannot... Oh my God. That is so horrible. Russian warships arrive in Indian Ocean for joint naval drills with Iran. I can we just can uh I hope that, can we just have a moment of silence? 
Can you imagine the pain of this lady? She, they were trying to stay warm and the three young children and their, and their grandmother perished in this fire. And can you imagine the, the firemen getting there and trying to restrain that lady from going back in to try to save those kids? I don't know if I, if I was a fireman, I don't know if I could stop somebody. How did they not go in there? How, man. Dax, that's really sad. I didn't see, I didn't read this one. Yeah, it, it is definitely a, a tragedy. And, and it, you know, we hope that nothing like this happens to anyone else. Uh, and, you know, just, you got to be careful out there. I know a lot of people need to stay warm and you're going to, do a fire in your fireplace. You can do all sorts of things to stay warm, but you just got to be very, very vigilant about, uh, about every bit of it. Keep watch. I'm just going to say an amen. We are all so blessed to be alive, to have another day on this earth. I really do mean that. Um, I hope that those, I hope those children are somewhere very special. I hope they are in heaven right now being looked after. Russian warships arrive in Indian Ocean for joint naval drills with Iran. It says, on February 8th, Russian ambassador to Iran, Levin de Zagrarian, announced that naval forces from Russia and Iran and China would engage in joint exercises aimed at boosting maritime security and practicing search and rescue. So, again, we've talked about this drill, but now it is kicking off. Funny timing for all of this to start popping off and, and all these drills to start, right? It's, uh, yeah. So they're going to start these, uh, these drills and these exercises. The one thing that I pay attention to is all of these exercises because any one of them could turn into something else. Throughout history, we've seen drills actually used as a cover for them to actually start doing something. Uh, they've used it. Uh, Russia has used it several times. If you look at Russian history, uh, that is how they've taken over. Uh, it, you know, before this is, you know, 60, 70 years ago, they've taken over places. And they, they uh, in fact, throughout their entire history, done it a bunch. Same with China. Uh, so you're talking about something that we should all be paying attention to. But the regular, you know, citizen does not. It says the welcoming ceremony for the Russian flotilla took place in the course of joint Iranian Russian naval drills with the Navy commanders announcing that India would join the uh, exercise in the Indian Ocean. What? So now, now India is going to join Russia and this is just... Dex, weren't we working on something with them? Didn't we give them? Yeah, some... that's that's news to me. Weren't we? Well, I mean, they've. It's interesting because they they are uh, having a problem they with clash China. with with China. China's allies with you know the other two. So that's exactly so. In Pearl Harbor, when Pearl Harbor happened, we thought we were talking it out with J the Japan or with the Japan. With the Japan, we thought we were talking it out with ja uh, with Japan, and of course we thought everything was good that we were doing peace talks, and then whoof, swoop, swooped in and they they surprised us or whatever happened there. We don't know. I wasn't alive for it, so I'm not going to claim to know. But some of you were, and you understand that they were. You know, it was unexpected, at least to the citizen. This seems really freaking odd because. India has been clashing. In fact, we've covered it. They were on the mountains of the Himalaya mountains pushing each other off the cliff and it almost started a conflict. Or they say it could have started one, right? Uh, 20 Indians perished. No Chinese perished. Oh, I'm sorry. No number was disclosed. So we don't know how many perished on the Chinese side. But they were fist fighting and actually pushing each other off cliffs. And now we have a situation where India is actually joining Russia and I ran. So that's that whole, this is weird. So is that saying something about, but I don't get it. The, the I country being in there, that's, 
I could see like randomly, you know, we go against China and somehow Russia ends up on our side or something. I mean, they've been on our side before, right? But the I country, what the hell is going on here? This is weird. Abaddon88, thank you. Bear Claws, thank you. Stone Magic, what do you guys think? I'm going to go over to the main chat, see on both sides. What do you guys think about this? Faith over fear. I love that, Heartland Lady. Bear Claws, lemonade time, people. Julia Spencer. Lord, help those whom help themselves prepare. India obviously does not like Mr. B-Man, uh, President B. India does not like him. Yeah. Space Rover landing on Mars Thursday, says Erica. Let's see here. Apparently, I has helped uh, Russia for, a, or the other way around, apparently, in time of need. So, I has been there for Russia. Could possibly be fake news, somebody said. It's coming straight from Russia's government. Very well could be. Shastina, uh, Gail, what's going on? Hexagonal Peach, nobody likes B-Man. <laughs> President Hair Sniffer, oh, that's a good one. Skywatcher for life, hey, Marv. America isn't in end times by prophecy. We are going down. DFW Jackie, basically, I was asking about um, why do you think that India just joined Russia in a, in their drills? It's kind of kind of off. Pretty pretty weird. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Thanks. What's going on in Texas now? It's sad what's going on in Texas now. Yes, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It is. Backwoods Ingenuity. Wool blankets, camp stoves, buddy heaters, and propane may be sold out after this. People will want to avoid a second run of this. Love y'all, Fook Fam. Backwoods Ingenuity. I doubt there's going to be any kind of prep stuff in stores that they can uh, get to or that are even open. So when when uh, this Fugel fan member picked up my brother-in-law, uh, I even said, hey, my brother-in-law is probably going to buy you dinner or something. And he's like, yeah, yeah, if there's anything open. So even like restaurants are closed and places, you know, th that would sell that kind of stuff are closed because nobody can get there to work the store. So if you're if you're not prepared before these things, this is why I've told all of you, you have to do it beforehand. And people are you know, especially people in the U S and I'm not going to speak for anybody in Europe or in Canada, but I assume that they're kind of, I, I humans in general, unless it's a cultural thing to be prepared beforehand. Like Japan is a good example. They are actually prepared for a lot of events beforehand. Uh, unless you're like that, usually it's a reactive thing. It's not a proactive thing. You're not, you're not signing checks to, to put up sand walls before the, the flood you're doing it afterwards and, and repairing your floors it's it, it's something that we should do but it comes from not wanting to spend money on something that hasn't happened but yet we know something will happen at some point but sometimes we don't know what it is going to be so I understand that but some things like natural events like this it's like you, you prepare your house once for a whole lifetime then it's prepared if you prepare yourself, you're prepared anywhere. That's that's what I try to communicate. <laughs> Here's our best look yet at Russia's secretive space cannon, the only gun ever fired in space. <laughs> what? Dex, can you talk about so we, this? Yeah, so we go back in time. We talk a lot about futuristic stuff. Uh, here's our chance to go back in time. So this is actually a 40-year-old um, uh, weapon but it was actually mounted on a space station uh, that was launched by by Russia, and it was it, it was in space, and it was I guess fired up there as well. So they they found some images of it because it got really secretive. This was about the this was when they started you, you started to assume that there is now you know this uh, arms you know uh, kind of race if you want to call it that up in space, right? And so these things started to get real secretive, and they didn't talk about what they were doing. But yeah, they had mounted this weapon. They put it up in on a space station. It was manned for a while for a few with people on it for about 15 days on one of the first voyages back in the 70s. 
And that's what this is. So it's kind of an interesting read. It's a long read, but uh, if you're into the historical stuff, but it also sort of paints the picture. If this is what was going on, you know, back in the 70s, you know what's going on today. So as far as weaponizing, DOD has come out, and we covered that just a few months ago. In fact, it was just a few days after uh, the Beirut event there. Uh, somehow, just a couple days later, the actual DOD came out and said, oh, yeah, by the way, China and Russia have weaponized space and directed energy is real. Uh, not only real, but they're using it. So kind of a big confirmation for especially a bunch of kooks on the Internet that <laughs> said that for the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> More than four decades after the Soviet Union's 23mm R-23M automatic cannon became the first and only gun to have actually been fired in space, at least that we know about, a new picture of this secretive weapon has emerged. So hold on here. Oh, weird. Look at that thing. I was trying to see... Yeah, I think the top one is, is the actual... the the mount, right? Hold on. And this thing's been mounted on multiple aircraft, uh, but it was also used in space. I was trying to find the new... And Okay, so the first one was that one. So think about that. That is pretty nuts. Look at this. So this is kind of cool. It shows different kinds of, of weapons that could be in space. Lasers, robotic mechanisms, kinetic kill vehicles, basically it smacking into something. High power microwaves, radio frequency jammers, that's I guarantee you that's probably one of the oldest. And then this. Chemical sprayers. Think about that. Think about that right now especially. Just think about it. Think about it right now. With that out of the way, if you don't want to be traced by a satellite, I would highly recommend getting a e-deck bag. Savings code Marfugal if you want to help the show and help yourself. Basically, you put your phone or device in there and you are off-grid. You won't be tracked or traced and nothing will go in or out. They use these for evidence bags, so the bad guy or the 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 dawn of the mafia can't uh, get into the evidence laptop in FBI custody. But what you can use it for is not being traced by the government or anybody. So, is it just so you know that's happening right now? Uh, by the way, and all of your messages being read and all of the social medias uh, getting together and reading all of your stuff and sitting around eating popcorn, talking about your life. All right. Moving on. China topples U.S. as EU's top trade partner over 2020. What in the heck is going on? China was the EU's main trade partner in 2020, taking the top spot occupied until last year by the U.S., during global trades, Anis Horribilis, heavily impacted by the CV, uh, EU-China trade grew while imports and exports to the United States uh, dramatically dropped compared to 2019. According to data by the EU's statistics of Eurostat published Monday, it says in 2020 exports of EU goods to China increased by 2.2% and imports imports went up 5.6%, uh, while EU trade with the rest of the world dramatically dropped down 9.4% in terms of exports and down 11.6% in terms uh, imported compared to 2019. It says the uh, PAN... Severely hit transatlantic trade with exports of European goods to the U.S. falling by eight per, uh, eight point two percent. What do you think about this, Dex? As far as uh, them taking the top spot and and why? It's certainly a um, a goal of theirs, and we've we've seen these goals from from China to, to you know they want to cut us out the economics, dominate the military, dominate everything. So it, this is definitely one of those, as they call it in the industry, a KPI, a kick, 
you know, a key performance indicator. And if they have now taken this top spot in Europe, you know, they're obviously setting their sights on every other, every other continent and every other major uh, economic area in which they can dominate. It's pretty clear if you look at the stats, if you look at just write, writing on the wall, uh, they are trying to be number one, and they're not going to stop until they are. And what does that mean? Well, do you want uh, do you want China, the at least the government, uh, deciding what you do with your uh, life? No? Might want to speak up on that <laughs> before it's too late. Oh, it's too late? What was that? Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> Sorry, G. Uh, no, hold on. I'll, I'll correct that. Um, China's great. Moving along. Uh, in other news, China is the great homeland. I love China. <laughs> okay, tone it down. Okay. I love China with all my heart. Gilly Bates, all rich countries should move to 100% synthetic beef. Why is this man on every damn screen I look? Microsoft co-founder Bill Willy said in a new interview that all rich countries should transition to 100% synthetic beef in order to signify or significantly curb the greenhouse gas emissions driving climate change. And it says in an interview published on Sunday by MIT Technology... <clears throat> Review Mr. Gates, who is the co-chair of the bill and and the chair of the investment fund Breakthrough Energy Ventures, said that the U.S. switching to plant-based meats like those sold by Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat will be required for saving the planet. Dex, isn't he the same one uh, after all these farmlands went broke because of the drastic weather and after the banks took their farm backs who is the one who bought all those farms maybe it's to control them maybe it's to limit them and restrict them but then who knows he's gonna bring out the synthetic meat right is he on a he, mission or something like <laughs> yeah i mean if you if you if you gobble up all the farmlands and instead of having those farmlands produce tons of meat you then reduce the amount of meat they produce because that's part of your agenda, right? What? Certainly could be. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the guy's doing here. Um, you know, we just get the headlines, we get the information that's being released. But there's definitely, there's definitely a bigger picture that's happening. Um, you know, behind the scenes with this. And, and 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 to be honest, like I mean, there's certain statistics that you could look at and say, okay, well, you can't really solve. Th there is a real problem. You saw it here. Like, for example, if every single human in the world wanted to drink milk every day, there's not enough cows to actually make that much milk. So should should we all drink milk or should we not, right? Um, same would go if everybody wanted to have T-bone steaks every night, five nights a week. There's not enough, you know, cows to go around for the whole world. So, you know, there are these real problems, but then the question sort of comes like, how do you balance that? And, and you know, all certain countries don't eat beef they don't cultivate beef and other countries do so that sort of is a balancing act and i guess what he's trying to introduce is say hey we want to evolve and not eat real beef we're going to be one of those countries that doesn't eat it so these other countries can i don't know it doesn't make sense there's some really kooky stuff in here um there are real world challenges if you go back to the questions i proposed but yeah i'm not on board with this it's just funny because he's also the one saying that we need uh, chemical cloud uh, operations that could help stop uh, the warm. Uh, in fact, he's talking about solar geo engineering. It's just, uh, it's really weird. Across stuff. any industry. Sorry for the loud uh, eyeball right there. I'm sure we could get Elon to invent some sort of filter, like cow diaper filter that would, you know, get rid of the problem if we wanted to have, you know, oh, 10 like times the amount of cows, right? When you were 14 years old and made the toilet paper with the, the laundry sheets. <clears throat> Only for a cow's butt. I get it. 
Huh. Just funny that he's uh, buying up all the farmland. He owns now a huge, huge percentage of it. Uh, he's involved with the... He's pro uh, pop control and uh, pop you late shin control. Uh, well, actually, he's for D populating. Hmm. Buying the farmland, then getting into weather, uh, then getting into meat, which if you control all the meat and the food, you control the what? The people and the world. I I just I uh, honestly. Do you guys remember this guy was at the the one guy's house that, you know, they found in the jail, <laughs> and he didn't himself. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Bear Claws. Thank you, Quantum Cat. I appreciate that. Jen Wisconsin. Thank you, guys. Priscilla R., Randy Ray, Andy, get, Annie, get your gun. Thank you so much. Doubt her. Vashado is in the house. Mindy's mom. Lots of great people in the house. Uh, let's see here. Lucy, again, thank you so much for your support tonight. And let's see here. Uh, there's additional content tonight, Dex. And do you want to point out some of the some of the things that they can find here? Well, certainly. In, in addition to some of the videos we showed earlier, we got a couple more that I added on the page, so you guys can go check that out. Um, there's definitely some some interesting subjects here that you know we can't cover. Matter of fact, one of the first articles is one that we were just talking about that D pop word. Um, it's a very uh, statistical and and uh, a nitty gritty article, but it might be worth the read. Definitely go go take a look. Some other, um, you know, other content that we know you guys are looking for, uh, news things that have been happening. Um, there's been some strange stuff with the town hall that just came out today with JB. So uh, you definitely want to um, take a look at some of those that are out there as well, because there's just it, it it amazes me the things that come out of his mouth sometimes. Come on, man. <laughs> you mean? Uh, D frustrated bummer. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. We've got uh, uh, Abaddon. Thank you again. The dead are the blessed ones. That's, I guess I need some context there. That's kind of weird. Randy Ray, Mindy's mom. Thank you. Thank you. All love all for for all humans. Thank you. You just followed tonight. Thank you for supporting. Uh, again, thank you. And I hope you like the show so far. Birds aren't real. Just followed. Birds aren't real. That is a unique uh, view there. I have not seen that one. And I've been doing this a while. But that is a cool name. Mystic Misfit. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you everybody for being here tonight. Uh, this is, uh, is going to be the it for the show. JR says grew up <clears throat> in Michigan and it says do not heat home with oven unless you stay awake and watch it if in a car snow crack window open keep muffler clear cardboard boxes equals tent homeless use on streets of Detroit solar lights JR I love the uh, I love all of that advice all in one thank you Add to that the the gas grill. Don't you know? A lot of people know that you know. can use propane for heat, but please don't bring that grill inside and try to yep. use it as a heater. You need to have a real indoor propane heater if you're going to do propane. Well, just in in general, be careful with that stuff. Uh, don't blow yourself up either. Uh, I mean, it just goes. There's a lot of common sense stuff that you know you can't expect everybody to know. Uh, let's see. Dex, can you read the top five over on DLive? And, and we're going to head out of here. I want to thank everybody over on YouTube. Thank you, Susan Donahue. Really do appreciate you, your support. I don't even know how you see us every single time we're on. Thank you. Uh, must get our notifications instead of them. Uh, let's see your mental architect. Thank you, Sunny Beach Girl. And then, Dex, could you read our top five out? And we're going to head out with a shout -row. It's not an outro. It's not a shout-out. It's a shout -row.
Absolutely, Adam. So number one, we have, uh, it's not showing me the full name, but it's Rap2, Rap, Rapture, I'm assuming. Rapture there it Soon is. Rapture now. Soon 2020, there it is. And then number two, we have Jawson. Thank you both so much. Number three, uh, Awake 2. That's number three. Thank you so much. Number four is Lisa K23. And number five is Annie Gitcher Boom Boom. Moody Mama, thank you. Kirk Stan, Spent Canister, thank you. Out of the Woods, thank you. Everyone, you have a great night. Dex, thank you. Mods, thank you. Automatically go to heaven, these this said it don't burn aloud. As a matter of fact, everybody knows that where the mod or no more at hat with the miss is Ben Canister with the hat sunny beach girl. Thank you for being on this world. Thank you all for being here now. Pleasure with the peaceful waters. Thanks for your help in the realm of 55. A nor'easter and real Bible by my side. With the CJ Blaze and the John Jay. With the ginger ear heart and the bad day. And the team angel on the get some. With the get some on the Esso. Jerry, never going very near it. Villa Island, Breckenridge, Honey and Amaya. Oh, I wanna say, I say hi. It's just six for two. Kathy Payne, thank you for being here. Bring the beat, my 
bubble on the baby. Wanna bring down with pump blue Stevie. Wanna go boat now, giving me the heebie jeebie. And the cat deep crew, do what you do. Pam Benedict and the DFW. Jackie, that is Team Angel. Oh, now I'm gonna get angled. Like a truck cat, like a truck cat. Oh, on the R and the RR jacks. Don't with the Leo walls. Oh, on the Leo walls. Oh, on the Leo walls. Going back down and I love you all. Trinity Red Pill. the number one supporter on D Live and YouTube usually get a small song section so thank you so much for your massive support tonight I have 
had some bare gloves.
Where's the road? I'll bring you right back down. Far. I said I walk down that world of heart. The heart is there, and the love is there, and the truth is out. The truth is out there. You gotta walk on down the love and life, going right back, and you know it's right. The truth is out there, and the sunny beach is right around. The corner is so open. The moody mama's got that stay. Randy Ray and I love big beagles. Has anyone looked at your snow? Does anyone have weird snow? Doesn't anyone look at their snow? And the truth that works with the green lady. Bring it back like you gonna fade me. Is everyone gonna? 
gonna go down now. Gonna bring back woods down. JR and the Mo Sound. Gonna love you now. And if I could, and if I would, I would bring you up for good. I'd push you up and not push you up. Freestyle off the top of the head. Bring it down to my gear. Going up and I would feel. Thank you for everybody that financially supports the show. We have a big road ahead of us. All of our friends and uh, beautiful people, colleagues have been deleted next to us. We have taken a, uh, we have sacrificed by not saying some things. We're still here and we just need to build our own platform in the process. So thank you so much for those that you support. If you do want to support further and you are the kind of person that watches all of our show and finds value in them and reads the news the next day, you can always support us in ways like going to PayPal or going through any of our affiliates. Make sure to use our codes. You actually get a discount and you help the channel. I didn't know that you do everything that you do because you love the food. I know you do everything that you do when I sing Cause you, Booga family Off tune, it's okay Cause I go, it's okay Should I delete or keep? Have a good night, Marfugal family out! Thank you, thank you, thank you to the five super people. Rapture Soon 2020, Johnson Awake 2, Lisa K, and Annie Cut Your Gone. JR Backwoods Ingenuity, Lisa Fur, Open Truth Ministry, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Golf and Girl, and Four Zombie 8. And of course, Susan Donahue, Pam, Veteran Steve, Gone Girl. You guys know who we're talking about. Good night, good night, good night. My food will be Shout out to special people like Stormy7572 and all of the others. Jstone78, West Virginia Prepared Mind, Bones, Rip Curl, Chance Paladin, and all of the other mods that are making a positive place for you to be. Thank you and have a 